are at Solaris, the Polish National Synchrotron Radiation Facility, which is a partner in the CERN consortium. Photoemission electron microscopy is a specialized technique for advanced studies of morphology, electronic and chemical properties, but also can probe magnetic structure of surfaces, ten films and interfaces with special resolution at the nanometer scale. X-ray absorption spectroscopy, X-ray magnetic circular and linear dichroism, and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopies are implemented with a lateral resolution of tens of nanometers. The electron optics configuration of the PIM microscope allow three main operation modes – spectroscopic imaging, spectroscopic diffraction imaging and microspectroscopy operation. Scanning transmission X-ray microscopy, STXM, is a method to obtain a macroscopic image of the raster scanned sample by detecting the transmission intensity of the focused X-rays. PIM is a perfect tool that combines spectroscopy and microscopy in one system to characterize the structural, chemical, electronic and magnetic properties of thin film surfaces and interfaces. It can be applied in diverse fields, such as surface science, catalysis, material science, magnetism, but also geology, biology or medicine. The main area of application of STXM is basic research in many areas environmental or materials research, chemistry and physics. Samples for microscope have to be flat and conducting and UHV compatible. Typical size is around 10 mm in diameter. There are two types of sample holders. Standard sample holder have a thermocouple and high voltage and allow high temperature measurements. Sample holders with an adapter for printed circuit board plates are used for current pulses. A wide variety of samples can be tested in STXM. Liquids, solids, biological organisms. The UHV standard is acceptable but not required. The sample should be sufficiently thin to allow minimum 5% transmission for X-rays in the required energy range. The standard frame size is 5 by 5 mm square or diameter equals 5 mm. Minimum frame size is 2.5 by 2.5 mm or diameter equals 3 mm. Maximum sample size is limited up to 19 mm by 10 mm. In PIM microscope, photons are impining the sample 16 degrees with respect to the sample surface. The elastically scattered electrons, together with other emitted electrons from the sample, are transferred to the imaging column. At the end of imaging column, the multi-channel play detector is installed, which amplifies the number of emitted electrons that hit the screen. The image is projected on the screen and recorded through a CCD camera mounted outside the microscope. PIM microscope is additionally equipped with a hemispherical analyzer. The combination of polarized source provided by elliptically polarized ondulator with energy analyzer offer powerful surface sensitive technique just in one setup. One of the main elements of STXM microscope is the Fresnel zone plate, FZP. The FZP focuses a monochromatic beam of photon delivery by the synchrotron. After passing through the Fresnel lens, the photon beam passes through the aperture used to select the diffraction figures of the specific order. The sample is located at the focal point of the Fresnel lens. The sample position is raster scanned with a piezoelectric scanner and monitored with laser interferometric sensors. By collecting scanned maps as a function of photon energy, we can obtain image stacks. By analyzing them, we can get information about the chemical properties of the element of interest. Yes, we've dedicated sample holder. Around 50 nanometers. For more information, please visit the CERIC website.